Hey guys, welcome to The V Word, your favorite place on the internet. For those who are new here, hello, hello, I'm Bogang. This is my returning subscribers. Darlings, it's good to see you again. Or is it because the girls are in their fields today? We're in our fields because we're talking all things heartbreak. Being dumb is painful, guys. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't want to feel love again. I listen to those songs, you know. You fall out of love months before you break up. Tell me, that is the worst. But you know, heartbreak is not only romantic, which is why we're also going to touch on friendship breakups. Moment of silence. For the Fallen Sisters. Baby girl. Men come and go. Friends should stay. Because you are my friend. And of course, we can't leave out the murky waters of when you're somewhere in between. Because there's no title on this, I'm not allowed to be hurt when we stop being together. This is not a danger, it's a dinja. It's a khafar, it's in gozi. You never know what the other person is doing. Jonga, the pits a pit burg. So y'all can imagine, we got a lot to get through. So let's not waste any time. Sit back, relax, grab that tissue if you need it, darlings, and I guess, yes, we go and go out. Yeah. Yeah, I've lived there. Lived, not even been a res, like, not even a, it's not a hotel, it's more of like a, a res. I've been a guest at the Heartbreak Hotel. Not very frequent, but when I check in, they know they're gonna prepare the presidential suite because a girl is making herself comfortable for a while. For that healing process. Damn. Being dumped is painful, guys. <laughs> it was over, Kulo, but. The, the storm is still rolling. That's okay. my, my, my thing. Mm. Explain. It's, it's, it means it's over. We, we, we cry, we cry, but we move forward. Amen. So I guess, definitely I guess. You fall out of love months before you break up. Just judging this on like the two relationships I've been in in my life. Mm. But by the time I'm like goodbye, I've kind of not been feeling it for like three months. Hearing that, I just can't do this anymore. Or it's not you, it's me. I'm just not in. Your men's favorite excuse, I'm not in the right space right now for a relationship. Friendship, they always break up with me. <laughs> Friendship is like, oh God, I can't stand you. If all your friends break up with you, you must know that there's a problem. So there is a problem. So that's why you just remove yourself. I think what always just shocks me about heartbreak is just how all consuming it is and like how much power and effect a person and the relationship with a person can have on you. It's like wild. I'm like, whoa. I still think about people I've dumped. I hope they're okay. But if I hated you, then sorry. I probably dumped you painfully on purpose. <laughs> I think I have a very low tolerance for tolerating Ooh. relationships Ooh. that I don't have to subject myself yeah. to, particularly because in the past, that's what I did. Mm. I tolerated people and I Suffered. muted myself mm -hmm. so that I was more palatable to mm -hmm. those around me. Mm -hmm. But now in my adulthood, I am a lot more chop, chop, chopful. Just I am such a loving person. So when things just don't break through and they break up, it's just, I hate it because I always want to fix it. But like sometimes when people don't want anything to do with you, listen to them. With friendship, it looks like um, uh, tears and tears and tears and tears. With a man, it looks like fast food and tears and fast food and tears and fast food and tears and wine and wine and wine and wine and wine. Definitely fit girl. Yeah. Oh, oh, your body. body is gonna. Uh, uh, uh. Did she get a baby out? No, baby. I'm uh, <laughs> I squatted for that. I, su I got squats now. <laughs> Yo, I'm out of commission for a bit. Mm. I'm very, in, I'm a Libra moon and I'm really in touch with my feelings and I think I definitely like need a moment to recalibrate. I call it like factory settings where I literally just go back to doing things that just make me happy. Like if I can slot in, like I'll write a list down maybe and if I can slot one of those in a day, that like makes a small journey back to myself that I know, you know. One thing about me, I live on the extreme ends of life, you know? So if I'm gonna be happy, darling, it's a party, but if I'm gonna be sad, 
It's a sadness. It's a melancholy. It's not even sad. It's a melancholy. Na, 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 I don't wanna feel love again. I listen to those songs, you know. I've been in a situation where a friend had to come over and pick me up off of my floor. I was crying so much and make sure that I showered and ate and got into bed and then she left and she would call me in the morning and everything like two or three days. But after that week of me crying and being so broken and everything, I was done. Like, cleared out. Woo! What I will cry like I'm gonna tell the better, okay? <laughs> I think I'm a little bit of the revenge person. What fuels that though is not necessarily anger but the realization that I actually deserved so much better mm. and I'm a lot better than that and you are holding me back in three different areas yeah. and so I just kind of like go out of my way to chase everything full force and that's why on the exterior it looks like I'm revenge bodying. I think I'm just work focused. I'm one of those people who just like if I cut you off, I'll cut you off. I might Pretty speak much. about you to my sister once or twice but like you are not seeing me on your TL. You are not hearing from me, you hear about me, but you're not hearing from me. And it's almost like I never knew you. Actually, let's just rewind a little bit. I can't believe I have cried over in that in my life, eh? Hey? Twice. Twice. Only twice. Three times! Ha! Lord! You know what, friendship breakups really hit different, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, guys, that is the most painful one. Men come and go, friends should stay. Because you are my friend. It hurts so much more because you really trust this person with the most vulnerable pieces of yourself. Moment of silence. For the fallen sisters. Hey guys, they just both intense yeah, in their own ways. Yeah, they're both very painful. They both take a lot of getting used to not having the person, the person around. around. And like, as... Uh, means of comfort and talking support and, and support, so yeah, and fun. Yeah, I don't think you can measure them. Actually. Yeah, you yeah. can't. I had a friendship breakup when I was in, I don't know, in fourth year. I was in 2018. To this day, fuck like that nigga. Because you just you never expect a friendship to end. You know, you go into a relationship kind of understanding that there is a chance that this might not end the way that I wanted to end, and like it's. A lot more normalized and spoken about to speak about like romantic breakups but friendship breakups darling it is so jarring because you expect this person to just be there for the rest of your life so when that comes to an end for me it's been like earth shattering i don't know why but it's just never worked out that way that as i grow into a specific direction all... they all go that mm -hmm. way most of my friends was the reason why it ends it's always because i've always defended myself from transphobia so my friends don't like the way i react to that kind of situation they don't like how like why they have to like scream at the top of my like oh my god dude i mean hello like that's my life like that's who i am like i wake up like this female friendships when they break apart, it sucks. So you guys are also so entangled in each other's lives. You know everything. You know who their ops are at work. You know who their work husband is. You know this, you know that. It just feels like a bit of you has been ripped out because every mm. friend for me is adding some kind of value to my life. So now it's like, woo, you just, you're just not there anymore. I still love him, but I'm done. Mm. I don't know how to end it, and my heart is already so. Mm. 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 This was my first heartbreak. Baby girl. Is this situation feeding you in any way? Are you becoming the version of yourself that you want to be mm. in the situation? Mm. Are they just holding you back? At I because a woman knows beforehand when they're gonna. Mm. When. It's not yeah. happening. Breaking up and like. Letting go is a lot like, you know when you're holding on to a rope? Holding it is doing more damage than letting go because you're getting rope burned, scarring you, it's rubbing off your skin. So rather it hurt for that moment of it sliding off your skin and then it's released and it's gone, 
then instead of sitting in it and it hurting you long term, like, you're gonna be sad, but then you're gonna be happy one day. Mm. That's, that's a guaranteed happiness. Mm. Again. Staying in it and just being so and hurt and sad all the time. There's no like light at the end of the tunnel. For me, it's just a matter of it's unfair to keep this person in because you're indecisive. Yes, obviously you care about this person because you've built this bond and you've mm. been together for a mm. while. It's natural, but it's unfair for you to hold on to someone who can be better served elsewhere. You know that it needs to end. Sometimes you know, know that it needs, needs to end. end. Be as clear as possible as you can be, but also just try to be as gentle and amicably. Do it as amicably as you can. Because nobody likes a nasty breakup, but sometimes it can't be helped. Good luck. How do you have closure? Ooh, I don't even closure. Chats after a break, uh, after a friendship breakup, what? What closure are you gonna get if the first thing you guys couldn't do is communicate? The closure chat should be the breakup chat. Yeah. Yes. Friendships aren't like relationships where it's first strike you're out. Friendships, we give each other so many chances because we're friends and we want to have each other in each other's lives. And so for it to get to a point where there has to be a breakup, like you need to know it's final. There's people who want closure, but I feel like closure just hurts you more. To be fair, now, some, some people's kids really need to be rejected twice to really feel the rejection. So if, yeah, it's a, it's a real thing. So if you need the closure chat, I would say do it at a neutral location. Sometimes the closure that you're looking for, you're not going to be able to get it. If the person is open and receptive and like available to have that conversation, I think it's worth just reaching out and being like, hey, I'd really like to just chat and see where things went wrong. But a lot of the time, closer, you're just gonna have to get it within yourself. I can tell you from personal experience that I tried to have closure chats with someone, a friend who I had broken up with. And in these closure chats, when they were talking, I was feeling for them in a way that made me reason for them on for like what they did to me. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense because this, 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 this. And I gave them another chance and we tried again. It wasn't even two months and they reoffended. First of all, because I'm so heartless and I really don't care and I'm not gonna cry over you, I just kind of stand up, okay, and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. But if we had to have closure, I think for me, I would appreciate this person just coming up to me and saying, hey, Chomi, can we chat for a little bit? You don't have to go into depth about why you left the friendship, but if there's something noteworthy that you feel like could help this person in their future relationships, definitely something that I would then bring up in the closure chat. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, just to officially on both sides recognize that this relationship is over so i don't keep inviting you to my birthday party mm. when you don't want to be there because we haven't officially so it, said it's I, done if your actions might be the leading cause of the friendship to not be the same anymore i didn't encourage like owning up to all of that stuff yeah like, acknowledging what how you may have contributed to the friendship just not being functional or not working out used to look yeah. anymore and then like Possibly if you're sorry about it, apologizing for that so that the person doesn't just feel like, okay, it's done. But yeah, like, yeah. You, you, you hear you, your friends. mending that part that, yeah. that they have a hole because of you. In the closure, it's important for everyone to take accountability. And if you can't, then you're just not mature enough to... You're just not mature enough. Is a rebound necessary after a breakup? No. I would say it's not necessary, but you can. No, guys, take some time to find yourself. Rebounds are messy, man. Don't you think they're messy? I think they're so messy, they're so necessary. Because sometimes you then rebound with something worse. That's gonna catch up. I just don't wanna do that and end up crying on the person's chest like Isa. Yeah, like Isa. <laughs> like, and I'm so like, it suits me. She so cried in his mouth. Like, I'd rather just like keep staying in a comfortable place where I can act out how I need to, when I need to, not like this person is still here and i can't like cry into my pillow in the morning you know i think it depends on the relationship that you're leaving like if it's one of those bite type of situations i'd recommend rebounding because i mean you still need to get your nuts you still need to do your thing but give yourself a break after like a long-term relationship you are rebounding with somebody else's child who is a person with feelings and emotions too. Okay, if you're gonna make someone a rebound, at least let them know that like, you're only here to cure me, babe. Long story short, is a rebound necessary? It's not necessary, but it's an option. Yeah. 
as yeah, long as yeah. again you're not running away from anything don't use a rebound as an excuse face what you need to face head on and then move on however you see fit was best friends with this other girly and we went to varsity before me or she went to varsity before me oh. and bestie switched up she was so different by the time i was in varsity i didn't fit in with her life at all i get that though it happens it happens i'm not even gonna try and make a friend of the limb yeah because they were in different life stages yeah i'm not condoning bestie's behaviors but like your first year varsity like it's actually crazy, crazy. Like, i put on both sides of the coin where I have been the friend that went to varsity before my best friend and then I've also been the friend that went to varsity or rather went to different varsity and we both changed so much that the lifestyles were no longer connecting. Varsity guys, let, let me tell you one thing about varsity, it will change you about because in in high school you have a protected community you have yeah. a time zone people are doing this at this this time mm. they're forcing you to do your homework they do in varsity the freedom is crazy like, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot going on it's a lot. like you maybe new, new environment, environment new people, people bigger classrooms more people to talk to different work classes, load, work load, like, social, social lives that, that are happening and she was there you weren't there so the changes that this person is experiencing, the people that they're meeting, the outlooks that they're receiving, is completely different to what you're experiencing, you know? And it's irrational to not expect someone to grow and change in an environment like that. Change is inevitable and yeah, it's natural for us to adapt as we go through life. But at the same time, people will prioritize and make space for relationships that are important to them. You don't have to lose the relationship. I think you can just reframe how you look at it. So maybe now we might not be able to okay. relate and choma choma, but I can definitely still learn a lot and from lunch. Yes, oh, I've lost over probably I don't know how many friends, like best friends, people I'm close to, like people I like. Yay, this I put on a pedestal. Like I fought for, I did things for them. I yes, I have my own faults completely, and I do not remove myself from that like i take responsibility for the things that i've done but my love when someone switches up on you Samaya, there are more people in life there are people who still will love you unconditionally nah but it's not easy it's a lot easier said than done but just know that it isn't you it's like fully them and where they're at you know where the danger is breakups where you guys never actually dated had a situation that ended terribly about a month ago. I'm so hurt, but I feel like I have no right to be since it wasn't a real relationship. Has anyone else experienced this? Are you Jonga! The pits of Pittsburgh. This is not a danger, it's a danger. It's a khafar, it's in Gozi. I hate it when my friends say, no, I have no right to be angry because I'm not his girlfriend. Yes, you do. People in general will try not to label things so that they can evade accountability. Do you understand what I mean when I say you dig a hole for yourself when you are in love with someone who doesn't love you? But we're going on dates twice a month. When my car breaks down on the side of the highway, you're speeding from work to come pick me up. You are making sure that I'm taken care of. When I'm sick, you're bringing me meds. When I'm... Job me! That is the worst. Because there's no title on this, I'm not allowed to be hurt when we stop being together. You can't even fight because I don't want to be a crazy bitch. You're going to be delusional. This girl's delusional. But I love you! <laughs> I did a situationship once, and that taught me a lot about situationships. And that just really told me to to establish what is going on because you never know what the other person is doing. It hurts even more because of like the hope of the potential relationship or the future. So not only is it like just the breakup of that ending, but also now you've got to break up, divorce and grieve the life that you guys would have had or the memories and experiences that you guys could have. You know, the what if. Oh! Not the what if, child, not the what if. Stand up, change your hair. Cut it, dye it, bleach it. Love yourself first. Just get better, get prettier, learn a new language, get better clothes, you know, just... See this? Really speak, speak it out, or write it out, express, take it, remove yourself from it. That's the root of 
knowing what's going to happen after the situation. It's okay to be sad. That's human emotion. I think that sometimes we're not very gracious with ourselves and feeling feelings. As much as you wonder, like, how the hell am I going to get over this pain, you know? How? I don't see myself ever being okay again. You will be. You actually will be. And surround yourself with people that really will allow you to. Like, they won't be like, oh, girl, you're crying again. No. Not those people. Like, you'd be around people that will be like, okay, cool. But what do you need me to be? How can I be there for you as a friend mm. right now? Okay. Mm. Just want to grab? Okay, cool. And then they can do their own thing while you're crying and rub you periodically, you know? As much as the door that closed is disappointing, could have been beautiful, there's another one just right around the corner for you. Maybe right around many corners. Maybe it's a maze. Maybe it's a maze. But at the end of the day, there will be another door. When someone breaks up with you, the word there, it's broken. Let's say pieces are on the floor. When you put them together, are they the same? Is the mirror still clean? No. So that's what you need to love yourself. So that when you look into those cracked mirrors, you do see yourself only. Okay. So deal with yourself and don't let those cracks define you all right i love you all <laughs> ding 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 guess what time it is it's time to check out of the heartbreak hotel did we need that kleenex did we not need those tissues if we're crying that's okay if we're laughing even better i hope you guys enjoyed this video and made you feel a little bit better no matter which stage you are in your heartbreak journey thank you for rocking with the girls thank you for rocking with the viewers and yeah let's do it again next time okay peace